Dr. Masaru Emoto was born on July 2nd, 1943, and died on October 17th, 2014. He was a Japanese scientist who believed that human consciousness has an effect on the molecular structure of water. What his experiments consisted of were tablets of water that were treated differently. What he would do was think negative and evil thoughts towards a certain tablet of water, and then positive and loving thoughts to a different tablet of water, and then he, what we would do is he'd freeze the water and then look under a microscope at the molecular structure of both subjects, and then he compared the two. What he found was quite interesting. The crystal that would form for the positive thoughts were symmetrical and kept their form properly, but the water for the negative thoughts were obviously round and disturbed, and he did several other similar experiments, including rice, rice and talking. Many people had to do the test for themselves to see whether it worked the same way for them as well. There are many videos on YouTube of people doing the rice experiments with thoughts or talking, and almost all of them have consistent outcomes. People who label a jar uh, of cooked rice, they would label it as love, they would write on it, and then the other as hate. Every day they would think thoughts or speak words in ways according to their labels. Over a period of time, the jar labeled as hate would begin to mold first, whereas the love label jar would not mold at all over a period of, of a couple weeks or longer, and it would hold its freshness. However, seeming as though I'm a musician, I really wanted to see this rice experiment done with comparing two different genres of music, and I did not find anything similar to what I was th wanted to see on YouTube, so I decided to do it for myself. This video is about seeing the results of what happens to cooked rice in jars reacting to both classical music and metal music. Now to keep the variables consistent, I had to consider that each jar was getting the same amount of rice from the same batch, and I had to pay attention to the shelf, sunlight, room temperature, and equal music time length. The jars were newly bought so that, it, so that they had absolutely nothing prior to putting the rice in them before. So I went to the store, and I went to a hardware store, and I got glasses of jars and the first time I opened them was when I put the rice in. So nothing else have previously been in the jars and that's important for contamination reasons. And I have three jars, one labeled classical, one labeled metal, and one labeled silence. Now the silence jar will get no exposure to music and will mold naturally. I know what you're thinking though, how will they all stay in the same place but hear different music? If I play music next to all of them, then they're all going to pick up the same vibrations, right? And that's correct. Which is why I will momentarily move one subject jar at a time to a designated table in which they'll listen to, the, to their own music away from the other ones on the windowsill. They will get exactly 30 minutes of music per day. Um, what about the silence jar, though? It will, it will be on the other... Uh, table also getting 30 minutes a day as well but without any music of course and now I'm doing that just so that they all get the same variables because I don't want just the silence ones sitting on the on the sill and it getting 30 minutes more than the other ones so to speak so it's still gonna be moved just like the other ones the only difference is the music is not gonna be there um, and I am going to be playing um, one piece of classical music and one piece of metal music and both of them are going to be the exact same piece over and over again so I'm not gonna change any of the songs it's gonna be two songs only now while this narration is being recorded I have already completed one music session with the jars I just made today it is August 4th of 2018 and I'll show you that the rice looks like every five days so every five days I'll try to see if there's any difference in it yet so until the results are clear enough to call it complete uh, the two pieces of music that I wrote for this experiment will be in the description below so look at that if you want to listen to them and I'll see you after a couple weeks or even three weeks I don't know how long this is gonna take so I'll keep looking up the time as it goes on and you'll see progressively what it what the rice will look like until I decide it's it's good enough to end because this is an experiment that doesn't have an exact variable 
of time. All right, so it is day five, and I have not noticed any molding in any of these jars. Just a bunch of condensation inside. No mold yet in any of them. No difference. All right, so this is day 10, and I am starting to vaguely see little bits of mold starting to form. In the classical, it has that one little pink dot, but that's it. But in the metal, right here, it has a lot more brown on the bottom than any of the jars. So, still a very vague difference, very subtle in all of them but still a little bit more progress from day five. All right, so it is day 15, and we are beginning to see results here. So it is inevitable that the rice will eventually mold. So a little classical has a little bit of mold in there, but however, the metal I'm noticing is having a lot worse molding process right there. You can see it has a big green mold spot right there and the silence jar has that same spot as well. But it's actually not as big as the as the metal one. But there definitely is a big difference now. Noticeable difference on day 15. Alright, so day 20. There is a big difference in all of them. It's very distinguishable. And it's very easy to see the difference when you flip them all around like this. For some reason, they're all molding from the back. And it's very easy to see the difference from this angle. Day 20. It is day 25, and there's not much difference from day 20. I've turned the jars around because the results are coming from the back and not the front. But the results are very similar from day 20. Okay, September 3rd, Monday, day 30. I've decided to end this experiment because the results are contrasty enough to make a video. And so I have the classical right here that has that one bit of mold in the back and a little bit of yellow all around. Then we've got the jar that listened to metal music for 30 days. We've got much more black spots right there and all around the rice and then we've got the jar that listens to no music at all and it's still got some bad results um, we've got some heavy mold right there similar to the metal but not as bad and so with this experiment I'm just gonna say that I, I truly believe that what you listen to and how you talk to people affects others in a way that seems a lot deeper than you might think um, and for those skeptics watching this video, um, I challenge you uh, to do it yourself uh, or do something that's similar to it, something different. Try something different, get creative with it because th this is some really interesting stuff that you can get into when it comes to sound waves and how molecular structures and pores, mold pores can react to it. Uh, so this definitely appeased a lot of my curiosity and I feel like somebody can learn something from this video and I'm definitely not going to use these jars for anything else. I'm going to throw these things away. <clears throat> I have to come back to turn it off.